Good morning, everyone. So it's the next day. So day two of a day in my life kind of vlog style. Well, it actually definitely is vlog style today. That's Elsie trying to get me to kick her ball for her. You hear that noise? What are you doing? What are you doing? There you go. So we're going to go shopping today. Um, I feel like getting out. The weather's beautiful. So I really feel like, you know, getting out and enjoying the sunshine today. Um, so we're going to a little retail park. Um, maybe five miles or so away from where we live. And, um, and then we've booked for um, something to eat in, just in a harvester. At half past three, so I'll take you along all the way and I'll try and get as much footage as I can. Um, I hope you're all well and I hope you're having the glorious weather that we've got here in the UK at the moment. It's uh, you know, right now it, it's giving me the hope of spring around the corner. So I've gone all out a bit today, said I haven't coloured my hair, I need to do that still. Um, but I've got on um foundation my foundation is from beauty pie um my brows the brow pencil is a primark one um my eyeshadows are all from tarte from a little palette um that includes the contour the um the blush and the highlighter they're all from um the same palette with um from tarte you can see me there in the background look can't you um Lipstick is Velvet Teddy by MAC. I've got Jo Malone perfume on today. Um, this is a new necklace. I've had it probably a couple of weeks now. Um, and Chris bought it for me. He very spoiled me very much for this one. Um, he also bought me a matching bracelet, a matching bangle. So I'm very lucky. Um, I've got my dress on from Sea Salt and a pair of Timu little pumps I'll show you what they look like this is the dress from sea salt um, it is so so comfortable three quarter length sleeves uh, navy blue of course as you can see it buttons to here it's got this lovely collar it's got pockets it's stretchy right shoes I can't quite get down put my, my camera down low enough so I'll just show you what they look like I'll, I'll just do a separate little thingy I'll turn it around is what I mean to say these are my shoes so these are just a pair of little like stretchy little pumps from Timu I've got them well, I've got them in green it's actually the same same size and then I was too big but these ones are perfect and I'm wearing these shoes because I'm wearing my new well one of my new bags from Timu which is navy blue and red this is the bag that I'm taking so you can see navy blue and it's red on the inside and so it goes perfectly with what I'm wearing look, look, at, look at <laughs> so we're kind of colour coordinated a little bit I guess um but yeah, yeah. red panties on <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this is my sea salt dress, which I love. My red shoes, um, my bag, this one here from Timu, shoes and Timu, as I've already said. So I'm very colour coordinated today. I have jeans from Giacomo, a shirt from uh, Manta Ray, which was a Debenhams brand, and just a white vest top underneath. So that's from Peacocks. And that's from Peacocks. And That's trainers. Me, and my trainers, Raybok trainers, which I only bring out on good days. Because they're white and he wants to keep them white. Yep. And then we're going with Luke as well, but he's behind the camera. <laughs> yep. Hi, Luke. Hi, guys. Come on in. Let's go. Let's go, Power Rangers. Hi, everyone. So I'm back again. Um, I actually didn't get around to doing any vlogging Oops, while we were out whatsoever. It was really, really busy. And, um, you know, it can be quite awkward sort of trying to negotiate going around people and trolleys and all the rest of it. Um, but we did go to TK Maxx. We did go to uh, b &M. We went to Marks and Spencer's Food Hall. Um, TK Maxx. Did I say TK Maxx? Oh, if I, if I didn't say TK Maxx, I went to TK Maxx. 
um, and then we went to the Harvester. So I can insert a couple of pictures of what we ate there, but we're absolutely stuffed and we can't wait to get home and have a nice cup of coffee, cuddle with the pups, and uh, get into my jammies. actually home now um it's a little bit dusky outside so excuse the lighting it's not brilliant and of course i've got in straight into my nighty um yeah got my comfies on immediately right gonna show you what i've got now so tk max i got some new cushions for the sofa so i've got these um so they're like a velour the ones that we've got, we have like uh, sort of two, six so six cushions on the sofa, but in like twos. So the one at the back is a green velour, sort of a darker green velour, uh, with like a little yellow mustardy sort of edging. And then the one in front is a blue, which is really lovely, but it's like a textured material and their dog hairs stick to it. And with the velour one, you can just use like your vacuum and, you know, hoover it off. But with the other one, you just cannot, it doesn't matter how much you hoover it, you can't get all the little hairs out and it just is driving us mad. So, um, I got these, I saw these. In fact, I didn't intend, you know, I didn't go out for these, but I saw them and I thought, perfect. So I've got two packs of these. Um... <laughs> They were $19.99 for a pack, really heavy. And it says here, set of two down alternative decorative pillows. And they're really like quite chunky. So got four of those all together. Um, there we go, that's the other two. And then this is from TK Maxx. So, I treated myself to some new trainers and these are Michael Kors. <laughs> Who do I think I am having Michael Kors trainers? I don't know. But um, so they've got like the MK here, there, and that's obviously the design. And they say it down the bottom here. Um, I've got these in a size four. And um, these were £44.99. Um, but online in the Michael Kors shop, they are £150. So that is a good bargain, right? Um, I've got a, a bottle of the avocado oil. There's a litre of this. This is the avocado oil. Um, I've been looking at this for a while and I don't think I've bought it before. I don't think so. So I thought I'd try this anyway. Um, this was £9.99. I know it's quite expensive, but, um, you know, apparently it's really good for you. And, I mean, as avocados are, and quite tasty. So we'll see. I've also got myself a new pair of sliders. So these are navy blue. Um, that's what they look like. And they are in the softest leather. They are leather and they are just, the leather is so like fluid and soft and squidgy. And the insole, although it's quite firm, it's still quite comfortable. You know, it's got the like the um, sort of like the bouncy supportive insole to it. And I got these in a size four and these were an absolute bargain. They were 19 99 and I just think they look really, really nice. Really sort of classy, aren't they? I've got this to go with Lennox's birthday 
present um my little grandson this is 2.99 and it's a bubble bath and i just thought it's so cool because it really looks like him <laughs> it's great it's fantastic i love it and then last but not least in tk max picked up some dog treats these are the chicken and sweet potato sticks. They were $2.29 per bag. So got those for them. Right, let's go on to Marks and Spencers. Right, Marks and Spencers. Pots of the Scotch eggs. So there's two Scotch eggs per pot. Um, the date is the 7th of March. So, right, so three of those from Marks's. Some of the chocolate covered uh, custard creams, very, very decadent, I know, um, but Chris loves them, so that's why I got them. So two packs of these, they are the outrageously chocolatey, milk chocolate coated custard creams from Marks and Spencers. Couldn't resist the Jaffa cakes purely because of the shape, they weren't round. <laughs> so they are this. Scroval, no, what's that? Rectangular, rectangular shape. Are there Jaffa cakes? Two bunches of daffs. They were a pound each. Mercy pigs. The Mercy pigs were very expensive, three, four pounds, but it is a big bag, 400 grams there. I think like the small bags are 165. So I've got some of those. Luke asked me to get them and two packets of um I keep looking for years ago a few years ago they did like the um Marmite hot cross buns so they were really nice toasted I haven't done them since for some reason I guess not a lot of people liked them um but these were two for 350 I think and they're the um the Brambley apple and the luxury fruited hot cross buns. So two of those. Right, uh, I'm gonna get onto B&M now. Let's have a look at this bag in the hope that they have it. So we've got these jalapeno grills for Luke. Um, two packs of Monster Munch in pickled onion flavour. They were two for three fifty, were they? I think two for three fifty. Um, three coffees just to top up. I didn't really need them, but they were one pound ninety, so it was a good price. So I got two of the vanilla latte ones and one of the caramel just to top up the Nescafe coffee sachets. Um, one of these, this is by Poppets. Do you remember the sweets, the Poppets? Um, well, this is hot chocolate and it's the minty flavour. I was looking for the options one, but they didn't have any. Three lots of pickled eggs. Hey? Eh? Yes, yeah, fine, love, yeah. I've got three jars of pickled eggs. I don't see them everywhere. So when I do see them, I grab them because we do like them. So, say so three of those. This is quite an indulgent kind of shop, this one. Um, some of the big mega marshmallows. Chris chose these. The peanut M&M's, his favorite. Oh, that's what you can smell, I think, is that, yeah. Yeah. Um, some of the Lenore tumble dry sheets in pink blossom. Uh, Kit Kats. So, and nine, is it nine packets? Yeah, nine pack of the two finger Kit Kats in the caramel. Um, a pack of nine Twix in the white chocolate. A pack of nine two finger Kit Kats in white chocolate. Some of the 
quality street matchmakers this is caramel toffee just thought it looked kind of interesting there's a lot of treats guys i know but you know practicality things like these i do get as well so the slow cooker liners needed some more of those Two packs of the Smith's chopsticks sharing bag and these for two for three fifty. Some mints, tree ball mints. How much? One thirty nine for four. Four. And in the court round the corner there, how much? A pound a pack. No brainer. Right, for the birds. And then these were 150 each for the birdies. So they could be hung out tomorrow because they're going to start roosting in a minute. So um, these, which are the suet filled pine cone bird treats. So there we go, they're really big as well. Um, can I have one, please, Nucky? Uh, two great big giant thingies of puppy pads because they were on offer so they're like this and they are down to so 10 pounds so these were 10 pounds down from 12.99 so we've got two packs of those this is luke's little stash that he picked up as well i'm gonna haul it although half of this is for luke <laughs> um so he got some of the wheat crunchies some Moam joysticks. See this one, I know what it's got. Um, got some polos. How much are your polos, Nick? No, 150 for polos. 150 for four polos. And we got some mints. The Oh, we got the Tribal Soft Mints. What were they? 139. 139 for four. We got the extra strong mints, the same as Chris's. And then he got Kit Kat Chunkies, the white ones. And then I've got to show you the uh, wash up liquid. I forgot to show you that. I'll show you that now. We were a little bit worried because we thought this had leaked in the bag. Um, but I think it's got shaken up in the car, but I feel pretty sure it was actually full. I'm pretty sure it was full, but it hasn't leaked. And what was smelling really nice was actually the Lenore uh, tumble dry sheets. So yeah, so that's everything that we've got. Um, we are pretty knackered now to be fair, because well, we were out, we left here at half 12, I think. And it's now quarter to six. I know we've been sort of sat down eating as well during that time. Um, but yeah, it's been a long day, long day for me anyway. So I wanted to share all of this with you. Sorry, I couldn't get any sort of footage in the shops, but as I say, it was very busy. I think the weather made everyone go out like it did us. Um, and the retail park that we went to, it's quite popular now. It's got a lot to offer. So um, that's why it was busy. Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you've enjoyed watching part two of my vlog, but not vlog, probably day in the life, really. Um, if you have, please give this video a thumbs up because it helps the algorithms an awful lot um also if you haven't subscribed i would really appreciate it if you consider subscribing to my channel press the notification bell and then of course every time i do a new upload you'll be notified take care of yourselves everyone see you in the next one bye for now bye